Not unlike our rationale in therapeutics, we look in services for novel business models that can either reduce cost and or improve outcomes. One such sector is the pharmaceutical benefit managers whose entire reason for being is to improve outcomes and optimize pharmaceutical use in the patients. One specific company there that we like is Catamaran, which has a little bit of a specifically novel business model within that space. Tell me about that. Well, they offer pricing transparency to their clients and they focus on clients that some of their larger competitors tend to de-emphasize. So it really does offer them a very nice niche in that market. Within healthcare, are there certain plays that have gotten a little bit more exhausted? In other words, perhaps they will not move as strongly in 2013 as some of these other names that you mentioned? Well, large cap pharma, for instance, has rebounded off of what was an extremely low bottom. I think there's still plenty of value in large cap pharma, but it's hard to say that they have a future that's going to look quite as robust as their recent past that saw their valuations really bounce off of a bare bones bottom. And when you look at some of the healthcare names going forward, do you expect to see more M&A activity, for instance, due to Obamacare? I do, particularly a specific example would be in medical devices where there's a new excise tax on U.S. revenues from medical device companies. Well, if you're a small company and you're marginally profitable, that medical device tax may take you from profitability into a money losing enterprise. That would be a board of directors that I think would have to consider selling that company to a larger medical device company. And within healthcare, how important is it for investors to look at companies that are diversified outside of the U.S.? Does that matter as much as some other sectors? I think it matters. I think the best opportunity for growth is in emerging markets. The challenge is finding a large cap multinational company that has enough emerging, emerging markets exposure to matter because in general, those revenues represent a very small proportion of revenues in the aggregate of multinational companies.